It's time for Unshaken with Becca V and SK. Get ready for testimonies and music from underground Christian recording artists from around the world who are making a positive impact on society and the kingdom. Hear how they came to Christ and got into their musical calling. We hope you're encouraged and inspired to go for your dreams. Now, here's your hosts of Unshaken, Becca V and SK. Hey, we back, Becca V and SK on the Unshaken Show. Howdy, yeah. howdy. How you guys doing today? <laughs> Thank Blessings. you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in again. Like every week we have such amazing music. I love this show. Like I'm so blessed just that God lets me do it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yeah. It's an opportunity to serve. Yeah, it's just it's really amazing cool. music. And I love the people that we get to meet. And That's come, right. Some come in the studio if they're local. And, you know, people call from all around the world. And I just think it's amazing what God's doing and to be a part of it. Yeah. That's right. It's awesome. And today we have a local uh, worship leader, artist San Diego in the house. from right here in San Diego, SD. <laughs> Michael Best. Hey, Hi. what up, Michael? Hey, what up, guys? Thank Everyone you for welcome me. him. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Thank you for tuning in with Michael Best, local San Diego worship leader. So, hey, man, I see you got your guitar with you, too. Yeah, man. he brought ah, his guitar. <laughs> I feel He's... uncomfortable if I don't have it. So. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Well, like that's because arm. it's part of what God put inside of you. It's part of your identity. You're fulfilling what you were created to do. And so, yeah, that's why. Oh, it's awesome. Oh. So, yeah, uh, for the listeners that might not know um, who you are, maybe haven't, um, you know, enjoyed your worship somewhere, because I know you, like, play all over the place. Wow. God is using him so mightily. Um, so tell us a little bit about you. Like, how did you come to Christ, and maybe how did you get into music and worship leading and yeah so um i mean as far as the come to christ thing i just uh i grew up in church i um oh, so, awesome. so my whole life um was uh most of my life was spent at, at the same church um that uh, my parents were early founders in and um yeah i just uh kind of accepted christ at the age of who knows you know because i was so young yeah. when it happened oh, i just wow. always been a part of it um and then as far as you know how I got into music. Um, you know, I picked up guitar. I was going through a little bit of a teenage bonehead phase, and I was learning all my favorite uh, Nirvana and, <laughs> yeah, and okay. uh, Sublime songs. <laughs> yeah. And um, then one day, I went to a, a youth camp through that church and started um, listening to the band that they had come in. It was kind of a more it was, it was very edgy, mm. uh, very edgy at the time, and. Um, compared to, you know, most of the worship music I'd heard. Mm -hmm. um, and something just jumped in me. I was like, I got to do that. You know, that's that's what I got to do with the rest of my life. And, oh, wow. and it's just all been downhill ever since. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, yeah, just, you know, leading worship anywhere and everywhere I can find that will let me and, you know, trying to make a, you know, finger quote career out yeah. of it. And um just kind of well, like seeking everywhere. the Lord and doing. <laughs> do you have a home church? I do. Yeah. I'm, um, so I'm at a, I'm at a church in, um, I guess it's Claremont Mesa area right now. Mm -hmm. Um, that's called Firewheel Church. Firewheel. Um, Firewheel. They're so awesome. I like the name. Yeah. <laughs> it's fire. It, it, fire yeah. Wheel. They, they hold up to that name. <laughs> yeah. And that, but as well, I'm also tied in with uh, a lot of different ministries that do night meetings throughout the week and, um, you know things like that. I'm, uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, what was I mean, that one on Tuesday nights? Oh, uh, what was that called? I went there and you were there, and I was like, "Whoa!" Actually, I've seen you several places. I'm like, "Hey!" Oh, you mean uh, Red Seal? Red Seal. Mm -hmm. Thank you very Red much. Red Seal. Yeah, I got Red they're Seal with very Rick and Maria. Ministry. Yes, yeah. yeah, they're awesome too. And yeah. Um, yeah. as well, also uh, Jeremy and Miranda Nelson. Yeah. Um, I'm up there up north uh, with them. They they're, they're uh, they call the Fire and Glory Outpouring. Oh, the Fire um, and Glory. I heard mm -hmm. about that. And you I play have never at all gone these places. Yet. Yep, I play anywhere I can. And, yeah, that's uh, awesome. Oh, <laughs> they're, they're, all, they're all family. Yeah, and so, Fire and Glory. Mobile how's worship. that? <laughs> I haven't been there yet. Oh, it's great. Is it? Yeah, you got to check it out. A lot of people I know have, but I just haven't. What's it like, called it's again? It's hard fire? to get everywhere. Yeah, well, fire and Glory. Yeah, the, 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 the ministry the ministry's called Elijah Revolution, mm -hmm. and their meetings that they have, um, you know, like uh, I know that they're open Sunday nights and um, – some sometimes other nights of the week too, but um, you can catch them either online if you're if you're out of town, mm -hmm. or um, their Sunday nights are open. They're up at um, uh, what's the church called? Grace Church in San Marcos. They oh, meet, okay. They meet there, and it's awesome. 
Yeah. yeah. So if you're listening, check out some of these places. You need yeah. to fellowship, man. Like, come on, surround yourself with people who are on fire for the Lord so you can be encouraged, uplifted, and maybe encourage someone else. Like, that's what I've learned. Like, you need to surround yourself with people who are going the same way. So, fellow I, worshipers, y- you know, just people who love Jesus, people who are yeah. growing, not perfection. None of us are perfect. We're all on our own road. So we can't really judge where people are at, but just find someone that just loves God and they're trying to learn and they're growing and. You know what I'm saying? God, you can see God's really working in their lives and they're, they're heading the same direction as you yeah. because that's really going to help you to stay encouraged and maybe encouraged. encourage them. Because our whole goal, like we really want to fulfill the call in our lives. Like Hallelujah. we were created for a purpose and we want to grow and learn and get just filled with God's word, filled with his spirit. And we want to get equipped. Each of us have gifts inside of us. We have an identity like offices and different things that we were created to do within the body of Christ. And God is coming for one bride. Yeah. And so, I don't know, I just wanted to share that. So just find some people that are on fire. Some of the places that uh, Michael has mentioned today. Go get in that fire. Get filled. Get on fire for Jesus and uh, grow and pursue him with everything that you have. Because this life is a vapor and there's nothing else worth pursuing. Because everything mm-hmm. else just fades away and dies you can't take it with you the only thing you can take with you is like what what you get for the kingdom for jesus you know what i mean so it's like so into that (laughs) but anyways so how did you get into like writing uh you know worship me because you got some original uh worship so how'd that start yeah so writing was like forever it was the glass ceiling i couldn't break i I couldn't write anything to save my life (laughs) um and then one day a switch kind of flipped for me just just recently um i would always only have like little ideas not nothing would ever be a completed part or anything like that and sometimes these ideas would be you know, a year apart from each other of just adding to this little thing. Uh-huh. And then right before the lockdowns and everything that started happening, it just started like, Hey, I just finished that song. <laughs> and <laughs> and then I have an idea for another one. And oh, wow. it does that. And so it, it turned into, yeah, it turned into um, basically completing what I, you know, like 12 finished songs. Wow. And Congratulations. Just, yeah. What, it that's felt an album. like almost overnight. And I was like, Hey, that's an album. And then, <laughs> so cool. as, as soon as I realized that all of that creativity actually just stopped. Um, wow. And I, and I actually kind of felt the Lord saying, uh, I'm not going to give you any more until you actually do something with this. Oh, um, okay. So, He's putting you to the test. He's man. like, so, hey, all right, I gave now. this to you. Let's get it together. Let's and get so, it done. So you're going to be working on recording it and stuff. Yep. Yeah, I, I have been working on recording it for a while now. Um, cool. and it's, uh, moving at a very, very slow pace because of a lot of different, um, COVID stuff. But God's perfect and timing. Man. God's perfect timing. It's going to come yeah. out think, and it's going to be like, yay. Right. So did yeah. you name the album yet? Or um, Well, the it? song that I'll probably play first, um, and there's a whole story behind it, but um, it's jumping out at me as what will probably be the title of the album too. Your as Promises called Your Promises Remain. Remain. Awesome. Um, awesome. Well, tell us about that song and then maybe bless the listeners and okay. yeah, um, play it for us. Yeah, so I, the this song in particular was one that I came up with I think I came up with the chords for it like several years ago and then uh, ended up going through a really, really difficult time, um, both in ministry and, you know, there's a whole giant story behind that too, but um, Mm -hmm. both in ministry and just in my own personal and emotional mental health. Mm -hmm. um, And I was in a really bad place and I started writing some of these lyrics that ended up being the verses for it. I was just kind of doing the, the... random poetry writing style nice. um, just to see kind of what would come out. And um, what ended up happening was I got about halfway through those lyrics and then everything that I thought was really, really bad got way worse oh, um, wow. for wow. me, uh, you know, especially just on the, you know, like it was basically what I can only call an emotional breakdown mm-hmm. um, and, you know, some stuff going on just in my life and, um, you know, all kinds of sad things that were happening and things like that. So that just like put a huge stop on this tune. Mm. And then when I, you know, fast forward a few years, I came back to it again and it was just like a note on my phone saved. Mm. Um, and then suddenly like every verse I'd ever heard and every sermon I've ever heard on this topic just kind of poured into this oh, one chorus. Wow. And, um, it just kind of started working its way like that. And, um, yeah. Then it was like 
done overnight. <laughs> after I that love, point. That's the Holy um, Spirit. I love that. I'm a writer. <laughs> like I get it. I know yeah. exactly what he's talking about. That's so awesome. Yeah, and so it's it's a uh, you know especially doing the the strip back acoustic version today. Um, it, it's, kind of, it's, a, it's a little bit of a slow jam. Okay. But, uh, you know, it's not like the most upbeat rocking song in the world, but... Yeah, but it, it's uh, God's. It's so God's. We love it. It's God's song. And, I, <laughs> and it's, and it's just, Michael Best, it right? Yeah. yeah. I, I want to say Michael Bless because Michael I can Bless. Michael Bless. Michael Bless. Man, Michael, Michael take Bless. take that too, man. <laughs> you might have to change your artist That's name awesome. to Michael Bless. Michael Bless. All right, everyone. Well, please enjoy Michael Best and his original song, Your Promises Remain. I am lost And I cannot find my way I am confident That you will lead me When my heart begins to fade And my strength has gone away I will be sustained For you are with me Oh, I lift my eyes to you And stand upon your name when all else fades Your promises remain When the worries of this life Leave me broken and dismayed I will find my rest You restore me When the troubles come my way And the enemy invades I will overcome For you are for me to you stand upon your name when all else fades your promises remain I stand upon the waves through the I am not afraid Your promises remain 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 And as the storm begins to calm And the darkness melts away I will stand amazed in all your glory when I think of all you've done all the promises you've made 
forever I will praise for you are worthy Stand upon your name when all else fades. Your promises remain. I stand upon the waves through the wind and rain. I am not afraid. Your promises remain, your promises remain, your promises remain, when all else fades, your promises remain. Your promises remain. Whew, Holy Hallelujah. Spirit in this place. <laughs> Falling like raindrops right now. Hallelujah. <sighs> Thank you. Your promises <laughs> remain. Michael Bess. Hallelujah. <laughs> so his album's not out yet, but it is in the works. So please, you know, write his name down and keep an eye out for it. It'll probably be on all your major platforms. platforms. So... <laughs> Um, be looking for that super yes. anointed as you can tell Woo! you got an exclusive right here mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you for sharing that that was yeah. dope my pleasure how long did it take you to write that one i'm that's the story he just told yeah. where it was like that process and then boom the holy spirit just that is boom it. overnight you can Dude, hear I, it too you could feel yeah. it can, uh, that's why i asked again like yeah like bring me back to that yeah. <laughs> Well, no, I was thinking about it. That, that probably start to finish took about four years to write. Four but years. A lot of that was just. You just said uh, a song four years in the making. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of it was, I think, the devil attacking me, trying not to get it out there. But, uh, well, well, yeah, because what? you can feel it. Like, people can really relate to that song. And it's genuine, and the spirit is on it. And that's the kind of music that yes. can actually touch people. On that's that transcendence. Like, that yeah. Holy Spirit takes you somewhere You're else. Like, yeah, the I was like. Uh, you feel the spirit so. that's how that's why we believe right there because we can feel the presence of the holy ghost just mm -hmm. move yeah totally through a person yeah <laughs> it's awesome god is awesome we love you jesus yes, <laughs> <laughs> so anyways well okay and then um you have another song you're gonna play for us called in the father's arms is there would you like to um kind of talk about down. that song yeah I'm oh. sure it's got an amazing story too. <laughs> yeah, cool. You gotta have to write a book with the album. I think it's <laughs> Oh my goodness, totally. Book with the album. <laughs> You're asking he's a like, dyslexic wait. guy to yeah, write he's a like, book. Wait. Let me just get That's through a this story album. In itself. <laughs> right? That's a testimony. Yeah. You just reminded me of the dude in the uh, in the Bible that stuttered. Who was that? Moses. That's why you need oh, Aaron. Oh, that stuttered. Mm -hmm. like, he can not speak. Okay. Yeah, so dyslexics don't mean nothing. That's right. That's right. God can still speak through you, and he did through that song. So it was awesome. Well, so, I know yeah. I could do it. It'd just be a matter of it taking several years or something. <laughs> Four years so. per chapter when I'm old like Moses. Right? That's right. I'll lead the people out of their current Egypt <laughs> with my book. <laughs> Hey, you know? Oh, Lord, help me. <laughs> Actually, God gave me that word a few months ago. He was like, it's it's a, it's another time that's like Egypt, and he's going to lead his people out. Mm. It, it was actually a pretty fire word. I was Amen. like, wow, because, like, you know, there's so much going on in the church and just our culture and just things around the world. There's so much going on, and he is really getting ready to move powerfully and pull his church out of Egypt into the promised land and the promised land is like who we really are like as his bride wow. like he's healing and he's restoring and he's equipping and he's he's really just getting his bride ready because he's coming <laughs> thank you Jesus <laughs> that's you know when I talked about how that last part came to me it was in the midst of all this all this uh, lockdown stuff and all the just everything that's been going so crazy and 
that was the thought that kept hitting me. It was like so many people are so discouraged right now. Mm. They, they thought, oh, I'm, you know, like I'm, I must have missed God's word or whatever. And mm -hmm. so, but, you know, like his promises remain even when the world tries to do everything it can to stop it. Amen. So. Oh, Jesus, you are so amazing. Let's hear this song. My, my, my guy, yeah. I want to hear it. My guy. No, I don't play it again. <laughs> well, we have like five minutes left. So let's go into In the Father's Arms, if you would like to bless the listeners. So if you're yeah. tuning in, this is Michael Best. He is a local San Diego worship leader. You can catch him at uh, all church. kinds of different places <laughs> like Firewheel and uh, Red Seal and all kinds of places. You can catch them lead worship, super anointed. So I would definitely uh, check out those ministries. But here's another original song yes. in the Father's Arms. For the hurting and confused. For the broken and abused. A way was made for you Into the Father's arms There's a place where we can turn There's a life we couldn't earn Where Jesus made a way in the Father's arms And oh what a grace What an amazing love To know of our place In the Father's arms And oh what a blessing To truly know who we are To be held and belong in the Father's arms There's forgiveness from sin There is healing within When the prodigals run home To the Father's arms Freedom and there's peace And all striving cease When the orphans find their home In the Father's arms And oh what a grace What an amazing love to know of our place in the Father's arms And oh what a blessing To truly know who we are To be held and belong in the Father's arms There's mercy and justice There's grace and loving kindness There's joy and there's freedom there's open arms when we come There's comfort and blessing There's cleansing and refreshing There's rest for the broken His arms are always open And oh what a grace What an amazing love To know of our face In the Father's arms and oh, what a blessing To truly know who we are To be held and belong In the Father's arms To be held and belong In the Father's arms Awesome. And what was coming to me while I was listening to that is like, Hallelujah. you know, we, we talk about songs taken four years. Are we talking about, you know, albums just sometimes we're like, oh, it's taken forever because I've had music. It just took forever and I have music I never released. It just never happened. And mm -hmm. some of it might be the enemy. But at the same time, like, I just feel like God is just a God of perfect timing. Man, and like, 
when it does come together and it does release, there's just an anointing upon it that might not have been there before, or a particular lyric might not have been in there, or particular chords that God wanted and like a perfect timing for particular people He wanted to reach. So, yeah, I just wanted to encourage you. I'm really excited about your album. Hey, thank Michael you for Best. tuning in. We got Michael Best here, local thank San Diego worship leader and recording artist. Tune in next week for some more amazing music. Y'all have a blessed week. God bless. We hope you've enjoyed hearing Unshaken with Becca V and SK. Tune in every week at this same time for more positive, enlightening testimonies and music from underground recording artists from around your community and the world who are making a positive impact on society. To learn more about Unshaken, your hosts Becca V and SK, how to become a guest or support the show, visit facebook.com slash unshaken show. That's facebook.com slash unshaken show. This has been Unshaken with Becca V and SK on K-Praise.